As we saw yesterday, when you and I operate in a spirit of excellence, it has a habit of agitating the demons of mediocrity in some of the people around us. That brings its critics and its enemies. How do you handle that? What's the answer? Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond and welcome again to Fresh. The thing that landed Daniel in the lion's den all those years ago was the jealousy of his peers at his elevation above them. A promotion that happened because the guy was honest and decent and worked hard. Daniel had a spirit of excellence. So his peers conspired, tricked King Darius and that, well, that seemed to be the end of him. He was thrown into the lion's den. He was sealed with a huge rock, game over. But the next morning, King Darius got up just as it was getting light and ran to the lion's den. He was very worried. When he got to the lion's den, he called to Daniel. He said, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God been able to save you from the lions? You always serve your God. Daniel answered, King, live forever. My God sent his angel to save me. The angel closed the lion's mouth. The lions have not hurt me because my God knows I am innocent. I never did anything wrong to you, King. It's easy to become despondent when you're working hard, doing your very best, and as a direct result, other people stab you in the back. But that's exactly what happens. So what's the answer? Be excellent anyway and leave the others to God. Be excellent anyway and put your faith in the God who is able to reward you and to save you. The lions have not hurt me because my God knows I am innocent. Excellence and faith, it's a powerful combination. That's God's word fresh for you today. I'm sure that you too have felt the pain of betrayal of those who should have stood by you. But when that happens, God is right there in that place, comforting and defending in ways that we can't even begin to imagine. So if you'd like to go a bit deeper, then let me encourage you to stop by at ChristianityWorks.com and right there on the homepage, you'll see This Week on TV. You can watch this week's half hour television message for some more in-depth teaching straight out of God's Word. Again, that's ChristianityWorks.com.